you've got Sundance, you've got Grammy nominations, you've been scoring, you've been, oh my gosh, what was the most exciting part for you? It's honestly just been pinch me moments multiple times throughout the year, multiple times throughout the month. I mean, so it just continues on and being here at Sundance again for Finding North is another pinch me moment because it was a goal of John Paul's and mine really early on to uh, to be able to score a film one day. And the, the subject matter of this documentary is really close to both of our hearts and uh, something that we really firmly believe in. So it just keeps getting better. <laughs> Working with T-Bone too, um, he's kind of, he's been in the film world for a long, long time. How did that come about? We met T-Bone uh, at the uh, Americana Music Awards uh, nomination uh, deal up in, up in New York. And um, turned out he was a fan. We had no idea. And we met him and, and he said, I've got lots of stuff coming up. I'd love to work with y'all, you know, th these little projects I've got going course we jumped at it so this is one of the first things that he called us about and so we we uh, wrote it and came in and tracked it and had such a great time he said you know we need a song for the end of this y'all want to write one real quick so we did and he said well y'all want to got some scenes and need some music you want to do that so we sure. put the screen up and she and I just went and started playing music it seems that a lot of artists continue working with him after they get done with that initial project Tell me, uh, is he going to be working with you on your next album? I, who knows? No. We have we haven't even had that conversation yet. We're just still <laughs> we're still so busy playing shows and and um, and thankfully the momentum of Martin Hollow continues on. And so our next step is uh, after the Grammys. Our next step is to head overseas. So we're going to be doing what we did in the U.S. and kind of moving out in concentric circles to uh, to to Europe and beyond. I think the songs we write there. Are, once and we've got probably 10 of them as we speak and um, I think as we write them there's going to be someone that probably is obvious like that guy's going to be the guy for this record and you know who's to say we don't do it ourselves we're, we're keeping every option yeah. open. How would you describe your kind of label situation? It started independent and I'm glad to say that it's continued to be independent so um, which Sundance knows all about independent yes, <laughs> so we, uh, we like that that's something that you know, John Paul and I both had solo careers that percolated um, around major label deals. So we learned about the, the pluses of that and then we learned about the minuses of that as well. So when we got together musically, we decided that we wanted to do things differently. And it's a great era to be able to do that. The internet and uh, people's consciousness collectively is much more open and uh, yeah, sky's the limit at the moment. As far as limitations go, with major labels sometimes it's a, a perception that you had to fit within a certain genre, but if anybody's a fan of Civil Wars, you guys were nominated for a country award, a folk award, you were talking about the Americana Awards, <laughs> you're writing for Hunger Games, you're writing for documentaries, yeah. you don't really fit within a genre. I, does it bother you when somebody calls you by the wrong genre? Does it mean something to you to be a folk or not folk artists? Because no, we don't, we yeah. haven't really determined what kind of genre we are either. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. It could probably make things simpler to, you know, point toward a certain box, but we we decided a long time ago that we were the only criteria for making this music was that we love it. Mm -hmm. And there's been many moments when we could have said, you know, if we use this instrument, it would steer it more country, or, or if we do this, radio would have a better shot at playing it, and if this is going to be too long, but we, at no point did we make those sorts of statements. And we're one, you know, one of those lucky bands that what we love has been clicking, at least for this past year, and hopefully it continues to. Are you going to be premiering some new stuff while you're touring this year? What's kind of the plan? Right. Well, um, as you said, there, there's two new songs on that uh, documentary, and there's going to be a, a soundtrack released for that. So there's two two there. And then we also did a collaboration with the Chieftains, yeah. and it's, a, it's an original song of mm -hmm. ours. Um, and then also for The Hunger Games, we did an original song uh, and then also a song with, with Taylor Swift. So there's two songs there too. And, and we're always all about, you know, surprises. Mm -hmm. So little by little, especially with, we're going to Europe, we haven't released uh, the record over there yet, which is the first week of March. So we've got a lot of work to do over there. And they're all about exclusive content too. So there's actually already some things that no one's heard over here mm -hmm. that are gonna be spread around overseas. And you gotta capitalize on that Grammy nominations train. I mean, how do you even mentally prepare for that? 
Are you nervous at all? Alcohol. Yeah. Adult diapers. Adult diapers, did you just say? That's awkward. <laughs> That's, yeah. That That's cool. Yeah. What, what happens in Park City stays in Park City. <laughs> Not now. <laughs>